coming up, ladies and gentlemen. We do have a match. We have Didact versus Dr. Drew. Uh, Didact looking alarmingly a lot like Mike Hayes. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen him before, but with the beard and everything, that's how he looks. I see smash doppelgangers everywhere. You go to Walmart, it's like, is that, is that Armada? Is that, is that? <laughs> yeah. Right. All right. But uh, then we've got Dr. Drew, who coming off of his uh, win in doubles, actually, opting to go with Marth. He's more known for a chic around here, from what I understand. He just <laughs> hits him. Ooh, it's going to get the clean edge guard. Almost edge guarded himself there, going a little too deep. Let's see. We've got a reset to neutral. Nope. We got Fox doing Fox things. I've never really seen Dr. Drew's Marth, as you said, but uh, he's a solid player, so I'm sure he will make things happen. Yeah, I, he's, he's got to clean up that edge guard, though. I think he should have taken that stock earlier, but he did sort of drop it. So I don't know who this Didax guy is, but he's really good. Like, I, I've never met the guy. I've never seen him. I'm just like, yeah, sure, Didact. But I, now he's a <laughs> stock ahead of Dr. Drew. Yeah. I think I heard word on the street. And by word on the street, I mean, like, 30 minutes ago, someone told me to watch out for this guy. So, I would trust that person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, almost gets the full dancing blade. Goes for another one. Let's see. That move is surprisingly, like, better than I always thought it was. When I get hit by it, I cry. The, the <laughs> dancing blade, just like, oh, he's not going to keep going. He is going to keep he keeps going. It's good in awkward situations like that one because he couldn't tech roll in because the, the third hit would have connected. Good pivot grab. Why are you down through it? Oh, oh, no. Drew, that's hard to do on this stage. Trying to be super fancy. It's not really that fancy if he would have just waved, if he would have basically wave dashed in place and slightly gone backwards. That would have actually been a really good position for him. But instead he missed and kind of dropped the edge guard, yeah, just like you were saying. Yeah, that slanted slope makes it a little more difficult to wave land or to wave dash back on the ledge. But yeah. So far, Doctor Drew, his his mark is actually pretty decent. Just Didact has been ahead of him in most of the scenarios. And then that, that accidental Ooh. stock loss was pretty important. Still both doable on both sides, I would say. Good Ooh. forward smash. Nice patient edge guard. That was. That was actually, believe it or not, Didact could have... Uh, ooh, that up smash almost stealing that stock. Didact probably could have uh, DI'd down and uh, teched it. Yeah. And might have survived through it, but who knows. It's hard to react. Melee's a oh, fast wow. game. <laughs> Melee's an incredibly fast game, and if you are not basically frame perfect, then you're doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> kind of some poor shield pressure there. Didact's giving him a lot of room for error. <laughs> Just standing there letting him dodge. The mind games are getting too real here. <laughs> So much uh, Yomi, I believe is what it's called, where you're playing the mind of your opponent. But Dr. Drew um, manages to... Ooh. He's getting quite a few shield grabs. So. That should be that stock. You didn't need to dunk, you just needed to roll. But that should be that stock, though. He wants to slam. Welcome Come to on the in. jam. Welcome to the jam. <laughs> yeah, there we welcome go. to the jam. <laughs> Pivot grab once again. Ooh. See, most Marts I always see up throw right there to put him up on the, the top, but I can see what he's going for. He's trying to force Fox into a bad position and get the edge guard off of it. Oh, wow, Ooh. if that would have connected, that would have been game. Dr. Drew with a very, very excellent comeback throughout this game. Wave lands off of the platform, gets the back air. He's a he's an up smash away from victory right now. He's also an up throw up air away from victory. Oh. But Dr. Drew is one good grab away from said victory. Shine works too. I wonder if that was supposed to be an up throw. That's oh, it. Oh, there it is. As soon as I saw the hit, I was like, yep. <laughs> nice clutch game there from Dr. True. Right? That was really well Taking done. It. He kind of got a lot off of, like, this really awkward, patient play. He would just wait wait a little bit. The fox would do a couple things, and then he would just grab or yeah. throw. Mostly he was getting a lot of uh, good pivot grabs out of it. Now, this is a stage that is actually, this matchup is relatively close here because the, the position of the stage and the platforms is really good for Marth. He should yeah. have up there. I don't know why he didn't up there. But sometimes I like back throw or forward throw and I mean to up throw. Yeah. And I get I, like, it's like the turny nerves. Yeah, I know how you feel. Something tells me that Dr. Drew is not suffering from turny nerves though because that man has been around the block. Around and back again. <laughs> Throw. Well, that was so there's that patient play. Like he didn't do anything, and then almost gets, gets a hit attack. on him. Good back air from Didact puts him off stage. Grab ledge, roll on. We're done here. That's a good ed edge hog. That was a very well done stock by Didact. I believe that this is going to play in his favor. Like I said, this is excuse me, not a bad stage for Marth in this matchup. But at the same time, it is still Fox's best level, and it is still Fox. 
the matchup is relatively even, but it's... Oh, no! And it, like you were saying, it is Fox. <laughs> Sometimes when you push all of your buttons... <laughs> Sometimes you push too many buttons. Yeah. <laughs> Do the crazy legs right off the stage into the abyss. Or just shotgun your opponent right in the face. <laughs> and end up getting chain grabbed. The stage helps him out, though. He keeps, like, DIing down and teching them when he's on a platform like that. He was doing it at, Pokemon, or at uh, Yoshi's story, too. That's interesting with the side B. You don't really see a whole lot of side B usage on the higher level of the game. Um, seeing Dr. Drew do that is, he's actually putting it to pretty good use. Ooh, good forward smash. Reads the roll. Now Didact is well behind. I see uh, Ken still using that. That's Ken. He can do yeah. what he wants. <laughs> Ken does what he wants. Dash attack into a really oddly placed up air. The back air is going to seal that stock. There's no way he can recover from that. that Dr. Good. Drew admitting defeat and going to the side. <laughs> Those, uh, keeping it close, though, this probably a better match because we haven't had a crazy... Oh, we did have an SD, didn't we? We yes. had Didact do an SD. Didact SD'd in this one, and Drew SD'd in the last one. All right. Good patience from both players there. Drew not able to convert off of a good position. Crouch cancels the jabs. The Didact taking to the sky. Crouch cancels, gets a shine to get out of a bad position. Yeah, Some awkward dash attacks into a forward smash. Gets the tipper. Now Dr. Drew's got a sizable lead at this point. That was great spacing on that tipper. Hopefully Didact watches out with what, what he's like a, like fighting him with, because Mars was just crouch canceling, he was jabbing. You know, you can throw out a grab. A bear should be a stock. And you get a lot more like that. Yes, I agree. But now, a couple jabs, crouch canceled, no. No, not at all. Now we're on last stock, and Dr. Drew's got him in a really good position all of a sudden. Oh, goes for the forward smash, not going to convert. And Didact wasn't able to get anything off of his up air, so now we're back to neutral. Dr. Drew's got a grab up uh, forward air. Oh. I expected an up air. Forward smash. That now he's got him off stage. Right. Yep. Gets him with the neutral B. That's it right there. Oh, oh, no! Wow! The tiniest of pixels. Oh, no, not able to convert. A game? <gasps> no. Oh! Not a game three. What is... That should be game three. That's oh, it! Nice stuff there from Didact. Wow. Didact taking game number two in the kind of a... That was pulling on the strings of my heart, my friend. That was incredibly I, close. I thought that up smash, was it an up smash or an up air? That was going to take it. but uh, I, I believe the up air. I, I also believed with you that yeah. the up air was going to take it. Interesting thing to note, the, the person who SD'd still took the match. Yes. So I guess in a way they had a, well, a dominating game. So. We're off to game number three. Dr. Drew opting to go back to Sheik. Sheik is kind of, I guess, his alma mater. That's who he's been playing for roughly forever because he's been playing for roughly forever. <laughs> So we can expect to see quite a bit of his, quite a bit of his chic today. He's probably, honestly, most of the people here would say he's likely going to win the event. Okay. Ooh, good shine. Ooh. Didact's here to turn that around on him, though. Dr. Drew's going to have to sharpen up his edge guards. Oh, no, not quite. That back air should just about be it. Up air, back air. Doesn't get the sweet spot on the back air. Forward air, that's going to be the stock. Now we're dead even with one another. Dr. Drew gets the needles online. One of the things about this is Sheik actually has a really good uh, grab against Fox because Fox is one of the faster fallers. And if done right, Sheik can tech chase Fox like crazy. All over yeah. his down throw. That works too. Uh, Didact just kind of crouch canceled that and then turned it around. So Misses the needle on the side B, however, manages to get the back air. Ooh. That was an up tilt, not a back air. Bears for days. Good shine stall to get out of the combo. Something Didact could have done there that would have gotten him into a better situation is shield drop rather than jump because it would have sent him down and he could have done anything like forward air, back air, up air, even neutral air. Right. All of these things could have been just a lot better than just jumping up. That's Good tech! Wow! No, a lot of players like should implement the shield drop. Um, it's something you will need to practice. Uh, yes. Trying to throw it out in the middle of a tourney set, like when you're not practiced, probably not ideal. Double jab, grab into up throw, up air. I was expecting jab, up smash, but I believe that he uh, smashed the eye off of the second jab. Yeah, he just wants to combo style. This is a really tight game. Didact is playing very well. Ooh. He could have just shined him across the stage there. Landed quite a few down airs on his cheek. So. Ooh. Ooh, he went in instead of out. That's important. Down throw, down smash. Gets the needle, grabs the ledge. Nope. nope. Fox McLeod, ladies and gentlemen. 
forward air. That's going to put him out and down. Gets the needle. Oh, Didact. He wouldn't have been able to make it back from that anyway. Let's be real. Whoever told me about Didact was completely right. Who did tell you about Didact? He just grabbed the ledge. It was just a, a man in a cloak under a bridge. A so. man in a cloak under a bridge? Yeah. Was he selling, like, used kittens or something? I don't something? know. This is late at night. It's <laughs> like... Anyway, back to the match. <laughs> now, Dr. Drew has an opportunity down throw. Does he opt to down smash? Yes, he oh, does. Calls out the tech in place. That's a hard one to get. He, I don't know why he's not re-grabbing, but at the same time, it's worth Oh, Ooh. no! Ooh. Didact takes it in a uh, unfortunate fashion Ouch. on Dr. Drew's part, but uh, Didact gets the number on the scoreboard. So Yes, he does. That was an overall good set minus the SD in each game, right? That was a little bit rough.